Hello guys, welcome back. Let's start the run for Banisher. I was pretty excited about this game. Had some Witcher Vampire, by the way, is made by the developers of Vampire, a game that I really enjoy. So, from what I saw a little bit, maybe a combination from Witcher, Vampire, Gridfall as well, some vibes. So, very excited. Let's get started. A full playthrough. We will upload the playthrough on YouTube as well. Let's go. Elementary, what is that? Oh, it's okay. I like to increase always a little bit. Maximum frame rate? Ooh. Why have... Night mode. Oh no. What are options we don't have here on the video? Wait. DLSS with distance quality. What the hell? Everything on high, man. Hey, Renut. Yeah, because the game... Normally, I expected the game to release tomorrow. But... Uh, looks like for PCs today. I didn't know. I don't know, man. To go everything on... Uh, very high on ha or high. <clears throat> Story... Easy, normal, hard, very hard. Uh, we go with middle one. Let's test. Let's see if it's okay on uh, normal. You didn't remember hearing about this? Yeah, I was on my wish list uh, for a while. I received... Uh, all the time emails from uh, Focus Home Entertainment. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Ah, so cute. I dreamed of clothes. The developers of Vampire Renux, if you don't remember. For the sea. I'm sure you remember Vampire game. The same developers. Ooh, girl. I dreamed of the abyss. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. 
a good one, yeah. And this one, from what I hear, it's much more better than Vampire. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? Boink, boink. Welcome to America. Man, looks good. The graphic looks so good. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. But I don't think it's Ariel Engine what 5. Of? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. <laughs> Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all, to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. From what I, I hear, the story will be very good in this game. Hello, Jiggy. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. Sixteen ninety five, June seventeen, New Eden. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. <laughs> I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Oh, oh it. London, it's cold as a bishop's arse, and twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. The fashion or animation looks so good. Why only Ubisoft and Bethesda make a shit facial an animation, guys? The Starfield fa facial animation looks shit comparing with this. And this is not a company like Bethesda is not a triple A game it better be at the it's a double A with a hot grog or two WASD good I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. That's a chest? After this, we should set Wait, sail. you know, guys. War. RPG player, it's... The dead don't linger. No such place. You cannot leave... But it's leave... Not a uh, idea. Loot behind. It looks so damn good. No loot left behind. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't wow. disagree. Man, it's beautiful.
Hey, Emperor. Looks so damn good. W and E? Why? That's a strange combination. For Crouch. Oh, with E. Are you kidding me? Emperor, how are you, my man? I think we can get through here. Ah! Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. You can. Oh, what is here? Lila. Looks steady enough. Um, Antea. Is she good? I'm good at salt. Thanks for asking, bro. Started the playthrough for uh, Banishers. The game just Watch released. Oh, is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Aha. Uh -huh. down there just a sneaky wanderer you same but i managed oh my very fluid as well maybe but are they keeping people outside town or are they keeping them in <sighs> and also some Vibe from God of War gameplay, guys. By the way, letter. Do we have crafting as well? The new pirates? No, no, no. It's banishers, man. Oh, more wanderers. Behind you! Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Hmm. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Can I go down here? No. When the banish goes is full, press E to banish your target. Oh, attacking with your weapon fill the banish goes. Okay. And down you go. Oh, insta kill. Man, how the hell to block? 
Wait a second, how to block? I don't know, I need to learn to block. We'll be lost in time, but I must write them. The date I cannot say. I, ca I know it is the month of June in the year 1695. I thought it would be safer in Providence. I thought we will finally see the children again. And the golden wet fields will ring with their laughter. Their mother will now lie dead. I shall join her soon. Something in cities walk the roads. Terrible spirits took up. New Eden is cursed. You who read this, I tell you, run. These people left New Eden Town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Aha! Uh -huh. Spectral dust. That all goes badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Empty docks in a growing settlement. That's not a good sign. Are the town select sitting on their arse? I like it. Isn't that what selectmen do? I like it. Down. <clears throat> Looks like you are it's a limited exploration. When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. Boston for Jericho and the Harrow's Hamlet. Uh, no, look like in USA, Boston. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. This town is less and less welcoming by the second. New Eden Town. I think I'm still in tutorial. New Eden Town discovered. The welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. And the town looks empty. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open-minded as Charles. Look for the inn, okay. Rats! I hate rats. Inn, docks, and cemetery. The inn is up there. Look at a lady here. Hello. Hey. 
people here are not that friendly. To kill them rats. This must be the end. But that doomsday has come. What are you doing? I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. Okay. The path to the meeting house is closed by the governor's decree. The cemetery is closed by the order of the governor. Part of the meeting house is closed by the government. Wait a second, it's the same? Oh, curfew. An hour of darkness, stay in your homes. No Discord, no turmoil, no Twitch, no YouTube. You see that, guys? The coronavirus is here. No Discord, no Twitch, no YouTube. A curfew? <clears throat> but why? Uh, the first resort of every self-respecting oppressor. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is gold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. <laughs> my name Shut is Dea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington. Captain of the train band. This here is Thickskin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? He's dead. We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we oh, can shit. for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. That's a badass girl. can be <clears throat> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave Hello, everybody. or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly, but we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. 
It discommodes me greatly. By the way, Redox, what I heard have multiple endings. This game the and the decisions really, you, really you know what so are important. Is life. Uh, call your physician, not save him. Could your physicians not save him? Would that we had a physician left, but it would have made no difference. Charles was dead when we found him, and we do not know how or why. One or two among our company have knowledge of the physic. Trust me, Purples, I'm sure this will be good. You know, I have that feeling. Strangery or sadness, guesses or, as a man of science in New Eden, I stand alone. You see, I don't buy any more a game on the first day if I'm not sure it's good. Demonologist, rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Uh... So looks like uh, this is the dialogue for the main quest, and this is extra dialogues. Of course, we use all the dialogues. You study demonology. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that. Like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have By told the way, me... Voice... They have told me uh, that Reverend curse. Davenport I don't know more, Bobby. A curse. Problem, which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral From what I know until now, the anchor they the are uh, banishers, as Charles and his like banishers ghost hunters, lift the and... Curse. Uh, that Charles, a friend of them, the Revenant on this town, told them to come here to help him. And now they will arrive and he's dead. And a curse is in town. I don't know more. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Right. Because we must. Why is town so empty? To ask, answer your question, Bobby. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage. In the face of our adversity. Where did they go? Those who left. Where did they go? Boston. Outlying settlements. Anywhere. Everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Uh, will they return? Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. We didn't have budget for NPC. Who say that? Bethesda. Uh, about the curse. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. 
In the end came death, and death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter. It's early winter. Worse yet, it traps the us. wild hunt. Man, the wild hunt coming. We are witchers. Uh, what caused it? What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Goodbye. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. <clears throat> By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Piece of eight. Ah, that that's the currency. And with the motion blur. I don't like motion blur. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. Uh -huh. My sweet loot. Here she leave. Anybody home? <clears throat> yeah, I hate motion blur. Slept for fear you would not come. Hey, Chucky. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. 
If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Uh, about the governor. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated. But at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles' interest in the unknown, but his passion hmm. seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Uh, how were things before? How were things, you know? Before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. Is there anything we shall know? Is there anything we should know about? <laughs> Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Goodbye. We'll take a look around. We use That's all right. the dialogue options, guys. We don't skip any. If it's Can boring. Any help? You stay put. We'll find the way. You have unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about the person it is linked to. You can refer to these things at any given moment through your haunting cost menu. Tab. Oh, wait. To understand why a ghost lingers in the incarnate, you must gather hints about each involved inhabitant. Once the hints have all been uncovered, the inhabitant intent is... Oh, man, like... Wait. Oh, that looks pretty damn big. Inventory. Wait, can I read that letter if I want? Yeah. That's a letter from Charles. The haunting cases. Ah. Uh, 
Aha. We need to find two more hands, right? The Chronicle. Evolution. Wow. Interesting. Okay, that's the lore. Okay, we don't skip dialogues. We use all the dialogue option, but from letters and lore books, I don't stay to read now because I'm so excited to play the game. I we briefly read. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor. The schoolhouse. Wouldn't you rather stay here? He'd be more comfortable. A new Scottish tune in G Major by Harry Purcell. Purcell? Could you find nothing better? <laughs> These days I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you, you can you, you cannot interact with anything when you have a dialogue on. Icor or something else entirely kind of I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The Saint Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me, that was nice of him. Some food and help for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors. There's more to learn here. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Jimmy North. Where is his office? She said in on his office. Oh, upstairs, I think. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Where the nightmares come from?
You little bit of brush. Wait, 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 wait. Charles always wore this brush. I expect it. I can't Those rotate. Things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. My dear sister, Char is dead. Get away from that. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. Hmm. Uh, you cannot rotate this, huh? Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. What the fuck is that? The prison king from Chess set, protected by a glass dome. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Hello, or Thanos. To remind him that he had yet to beat me. Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. What? The Bible verse? Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. What? Wow. Lol. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Vision? Foreshadowing? Is someone behind this? Who is the real target? And what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into your head. Excellent. Clip no longer offer rest and this cannot perish me. Mr. Good Vessel, thank you very much for the follow, man. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. <clears throat> How malicious is this? Guys, remember the full playthrough I will upload on Charles's YouTube. Ghost and I really appreciate if you can drop a sub on YouTube. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. 
We have another hint. Oh, I have, we have a hint about him. What is that? Charles was worried about the influence <clears throat> the threatening spirit had on the settler's dreams. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Uh, do you have bad dreams? Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes, I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But now Charles is gone and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him, none respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now. But that will change, I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do mm. not want to believe he is Who gone. Know? He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we will do what we can for Charles. We must make our way to the cemetery. Amazing place careful, to go to the cemetery. Dear. But we are banishers. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. She asked that because she expected if he's a ghost, they will kill him. You'll be all right. Kill him again. I doubt it. <laughs> but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Do the same. Ask in the cemetery. Be careful. Hi. You too. You too. I think at one point I will switch them to find the location of your next object and open your map. Are you kidding me? This. A shop. Guys, let's go to the shop. Wrong way. This lady, but she don't talk with me. Yeah, I think I need to advance more.
And where the hell is the cemetery? The dirt are closed for sabotage by fire. All trade to Boston, Maddlehead, Salem is cut until the saboteur is caught. Lord. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport, his death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. Ah, Perut Colonel, as. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And Today was the lunch day. I, madam, looks am so a good. sincere Paris traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Uh, what you know about the curse? Tell me about the curse, if you will. I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd have... This is, this is a vendor, I think. What I need is information. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too, so much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. Do you have bad dreams like everyone? The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Huh. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. Hmm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, Interesting. I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> You're leaving the town? You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive, I see? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves a show. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Show me your wares. I, but anyway, I don't think I have money. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. Okay. Buy leather, fur, linen, and wool. And can sell. I don't sell these materials, man, because I don't have no idea what I need and what I don't need. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. Man, I like the, the feeling, the atmosphere. It's, it's a mystery around, you know?
letter and looks so damn good. Oh, a big chest, man. Uh, nu, colonele, nu alegi tu. Ai două personaje principale care... E ceva gen... Uh, Witcher, you know? Hello, Patu. What the fuck is that? A wisp. So a wisp. To town. The cemetery is closed by order of the governor. Where are you leading me? Okay. More of you? Down you go. Holy shit. That the, the the blue one was different. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Hmm. Uh, which way? What's that? Inside, as a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your ban rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura. Walk around to find the source. Looks like you you find the material, so I expect to be crafting in game as well. Some kind of crafting. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. No loot left behind, guys. Oh, here is Charles. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you.
Hmm, I think I missed something. Many dead in more recent years. Oh, I need to find a place where uh, he died. He is, here is the grave, but he didn't die here. Man, Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I'm coming. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? A previous epidemic? Was a previous epidemic? I mean, that's the year of the plague. Guys, who know the year when uh, the plague was? memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. You perform a ritual? Oh, banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the side determines which ritual should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources. Even, even if you select an incorrect ritual. Are you kidding me? So even if you select a wrong ritual, you still consume the resources. And how the hell what I, I picked up earlier should suffice. How the hell I know which ritual to perform? I have no idea. Focus and tear. Ritual fail. Oh, come on, game. That's all I need. No, I need one more. I use summon scourge, hearkening. Let's try this one. I hope to be the right one. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? Everything you've ever feared. Be gone. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do. Oh, crap. 
That ghost killed him. Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? Okay. Oh. That's why my ring was orange. Because of these wisps. Oh, I'm back here. I think now I need to go back at the grave. Oh no, where he dies. Oh, the book that he keeps on hands when he died. Charles Bebo. The people. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Okay. I can make him manifest to his grave. Uh, I saw his grave down there. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. I'll fight Charles. with him. Join me now. I know you're here. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake, and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. 
Wait a second. Do you know how this curse began? Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Uh, why not wait for your help? Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead and dead. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. What did you learn about the curse? Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which ghost? I do not. And hey, ghost hunters. Do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God meeting had house. forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. Are the nightmares a myth? I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They... vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. We'll banish this ghost. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, I worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does malevolence manifest? How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws spectres to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. She was... love. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. 
You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your soul. Wait. wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose themselves. Oh. oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. Very the emotional. The uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Tia, she gave him the care he needed. Okay. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. The ghost will attack us? I expect that. Or no. Or not. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther.
I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Join right at the schoolhouse. Okay. Oh, we already... I don't know, don't appear what you already inspected. I don't like that. Because, you know, you don't know what you read and what you don't read. You didn't read before. It's confusing. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte? Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So you're the face of hope, are you? You what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was the last time I looked. What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze, and at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort, but I'm afraid I would be lying. Do you have a bad dreams? It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in the store. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? <laughs> what can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I've lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? <laughs> That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. Okay, goodbye. A very good day to you, madam. <clears throat> You're optimistic too then. Aren't we the fools? Uh, guys, I want to see in the controls how to use the healing potion. Quick item X, I think, right? Good day, sir. You'll be one of Haskell's banishes, I take it. Antea Duarte. You may meet Red McWraith about the place. Pew Bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. 
We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. Like the same dialogue? What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Better days lie ahead if his servants remain humble and true. I've come to help. Be a good and humble servant and tell me about the curse. I'll not waste my time. We, madam, have prayed for salvation. And you are not it. <laughs> Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor? You don't want to hear about those. Try me. In my sleep, chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two poor souls are trapped inside. Oh. A man and a woman, screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. I wake with a start and rush to the window. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. Wow! That's Antia and Red. Did you know the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? I did know that. To his shame, the late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss, if the devil sits in our meeting house, it means that we, the people of New Eden, have failed to repudiate his works. Obviously. Oh, man. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor, and you may wish us luck. I shall not they wish see you the love. future and, uh, and dreams on these nightmares. From death to death. did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McGrath. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? guys Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine I hope he'd have at least hesitated Charles was a good man full of love banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy but it would have been right ghosts only bring misery red make no mistake they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. 
A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to You'll not escape me so easy. <laughs> you I would bring back from the dead. That's not funny. <laughs> I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost. <laughs> you with me? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be... Uh, I think that decision was I important. Really not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor I wonder if they have a nightmare now. <laughs> Looks like Holy shit. And Taya, she took her fire bane. She says I'm the reckless one. I'll play with him now. <laughs>